Thank you, uh, Dr. Murray. Good evening, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. You would have heard that my name is Buddy Lario, and I think it's appropriate that I put you in touch with some information that you should be familiar with that is affecting your life today. And because you have to pass on that information to your children, your relatives, or should pass on that information to your family, your children, those who are close to you, and to your pupils. I'll put it in the context of this. Teachers, we are all teachers. And our children and those who are, that we have influence over, depend on us for information, especially the young ones, or those who are not as informed as we are. They depend on us. They might not accept the information we give them. Sometimes you want to tell them the truth, but you know the truth hurts, so we can't tell the truth. Then there's the education. Each one of us need to be educated, need information, because we do not know it all. And then there's the leaders that leads us. And one of our, recently one of our leading educators informed us that the children of today are demonically possessed. Are you familiar with that? Yes, right. And recently it was said that we should treat our children as human beings. Now, if someone said to you, you should treat your dog as an animal, what would you say? They're talking nonsense, is it? But your dog is an animal. So if you're going to say you should treat your child as a human being, what is that saying to you? Are your children not human beings? And where would that come from, those thought processes? Where would they come from? <coughs> now, let me tell you what's happening today. I heard the news this morning, so if you don't hear it yet, you will hear it soon. By the time you get back home. There was just, a meeting was just held at the Islamic Center. And our Bishop of Barbados, Red Reverend John Holder, was present. And he said that we have some serious challenges. And the Christian community is now joining with the Muslim to save Barbados Christian community. Understand what is happening. That's in the news today. So, where are we going? Look, this year is the 60th anniversary of Hurricane Janet. 60th anniversary of Hurricane Janet. 60 years ago, Barbados was transformed because of Hurricane Janet. We are now into another transformation process. And this is why. Barbados is 390 years old as a colony of Britain. 
And this is the decade for people of African descent. And we have 10 years before we reach the 400th anniversary of colonization. And what is on the agenda now? Barbados to become a republic. Which means removing the queen as head of state. Which means there will be no more Royal Barbados Police Force. No more Her Majesty's Prison. No more Crown Land. It will be Barbados's land. As my brother said, reparation is about the land. I hope I'm making sense. You who are here today, you are the most important of people in Barbados today. Those of us in the Rastafari movement and the civil society that are conscious, we know what we have to do. And we've been doing it. And we're not going to change. It's a commission or an assignment that was given to us by our ancestors. So we're not going to change. But you, going to have to decide if you're going to accept your mission or if you're going to drop the baton. Because we have passed on the baton to you. The Commission for Pan-African Affairs, when it was established in 1998, it was a revolutionary process unheard of in the world that a government department is established to reach out to African people globally and at home. And you are part of this, that experience. That's what the Mabalodi practically taught. You are part of that. And what we are now introducing to you is the reparation process or the program on reparation. Repairing the damage that has been done to us. That's what reparation is all about. Repairing the damage that has, done, has been done to us. And what damage are we talking about? You have heard some of it already. June from the 12th, from October to 12, 1492, when Christopher Columbus landed here. That voyage was just out of the period when the Moors had ruled Europe or ruled Spain for 700 years. Black people like you and I went into Europe and taught Europe how to live and how to be civilized. They knew nothing or very little about civilization what we call civilization. And when Christopher Columbus came down here, the people received him and treated him as a lost brother. He spent three months, went back to Spain, came back four years or two years later. 1492, 17 warships and 1,300 people and all this havoc on the people who treated him justly and sympathetically. And from then to today, this Barbados falls within that period from then until today. We have been catching our royal, as some people would say. You can make a difference. You have to make a difference. And you have 10 years to do your thing. 
we are going to help you. And I see your, your, your book here. All that you need to make you the champion, and in particular, you women, mm -hmm. my sisters. You have a role that you can't even think about yet. Because you are the future of the world. You black mothers, queens, princesses, you are the future of the world. You have to teach us men how to be men again. Because we have lost the ability. Because we were stripped of everything that brought us to the point where a man can say, you have to treat our children as human beings. We were stripped to the point when we could not defend you, we could not protect you, so you lost respect for us. And you have been making it on your own, basically, trying to recapture that. So, you are now at the helm of saying, you men are my children. I was in pain when I gave birth to you. Let me teach you how to be a man, how to be a leader. Because I watch when they destroy you as a leader. And I close by saying this, why I can tell you that. I read an article in the paper, 4th of May, and the arrogance of a Mr. Corey Beckles, who said that the Barbados' constitution is based on the principle of God coming from the Bible, and that there, there is no other, according, there is no other book in the entire world that is founded on the principle of God. No other book but the Bible, the Word of God. And today, <laughs> our leader is joining with the Muslim, with their book, to try to save Christianity. So what I have done, I have taken it on myself to give Barbadians a crash course in Barbados history because we do not know our history. And I'm going to take you from seven, some 1625 to present and prove to you that Barbados has been chosen by the Creator himself to lead the world back to its essence. And if Barbados has been chosen, I'm going to prove it, if Barbados has been chosen, what that say about you? and the point you are at now. And why I'm so bold to say this, I said earlier that Jenny transformed Barbados. 38 people got killed. Prior to Hurricane Jenny, there was another hurricane in 1831, which killed 4,300 people. Prior to that, there was one in 1780, which killed 22,000 people. And if you read the papers today, you would see a notice. Don't take these earth tremors for granted. I'm just making the link to you. And I'm saying to you that there's no family in Barbados that have benefited more than my family from Hurricane Janet. In other words, Hurricane Janet was a blessing to my family. It killed my father, 
I leave my mother with 11 children. I was the best thing that had happened to us. And I'm going to prove to you why I have the authority to say what I'm saying. That you, through this Mabalozi project, are what our ancestors were waiting for here in Barbados. I thank you very much. Thank you, Brother Larry.